Hey guys, and here's another part of our R2D2 tutorial here in Blender. Um, so we've already covered how to um, color individual faces of our mesh and um, how to create these sharp hard edged panel lines while maintaining our smooth um, curvature to the body. Um, so you'll see that we've come along quite a bit since the end of the last tutorial. Um, I've just been going in and adding in all of these various panel lines in exactly the same way that we've been doing them earlier. Um, so once you've completed all those panels, you can see that there's a little bit of detail in some of these which we're still lacking. Um, so one is this sloped inward area, and you've got these um, grills here, and these raised sections there which we still need to add in. So that's just what I'm going to cover in this tutorial, um, how we can begin adding some more detail to these panels. So we'll go over to my front view, um, and we're going to start by adding in these vertical grills here, which are in this side panel there. So we're going to zoom in on this particular area. And then we'll go over into our material and edit mode. Now you can see we've got these vertical lines here. So um, we're going to need to make some new cuts. So one is going to be a um, knife cut which will run along here and we'll grab these edges and just move it up so it's in line with the top there we want the same then at the bottom so again, we'll get on knife, control, and we drag across oops, from one side to the other. Let's try that again. Um, let's go with a loop cut, which we can line up here. Okay, now I've got that, I'm going to grab the knife again, knife tool, and we'll just drag across here to finish off lining that up, and the same on this side here. Knife tool. I just drag over there in a straight line. Okay. Now that's done. We need to create the uh, some more vertical cuts here. If we were to use a loop cut, you see it actually you know, starts making a cut into other sections, which just complicates our geometry unnecessarily. So we'll just use the knife tool. So we're going to need. Let's go back to the reference image here. There's around one, two, three four five recessed areas I think so one and here at the moment we've got one two three four five six seven sections um, so what we need to do really is just create some vertical cuts with our knife tool on there and we'll place another one in here. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five areas which we can then recess in. So we're going to go along now and select these faces. So 
So one, two, three, four, five. And these are going to be the ones which will be taken in, extruded inwards. So E to extrude. We'll extrude those inside. Now the inside parts are going to be blue. So I'm going to come over to our materials again. We'll assign blue to those. And we're also going to want it on the edges as well, I think. So we hold down our Shift and Alt key. It should select the inside rings of each one of those. And again, we'll assign the blue material. So we'll come back over into object mode and see we've now made those recessed areas. We might just want to bevel the edges of those a little bit so they again they catch the light. So we'll come back into edit mode, edge select, and shift and alt. Make sure we get the outside edges here, 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 and the same on the right side edges. Once we're done with that, Control B, the bevel, 0 0.003 for our bevel size, two segments only. We'll just jump back over into object mode and there we now have our recessed areas there. Next is going to be this sloping inwards part. Um, so again, we come over into edit mode, go to our front view, make it transparent by going to our material. So we're going to need to cut out a square or rectangular area and then have this recessed slope on the inside. <clears throat> so again, I'm going to grab our knife tool, control, we'll make it around this wide, enter. So we select these edges, drag that down. Knife tool again, control, cut the same length there. Select just those edges. We'll drag that up to around here. Okay, now we can grab this. We'll extrude, but we're only going to extrude a very small amount inwards. Then we can grab this top edge. Make sure you get the interior edge, not the outside edge. I'm going to drag this back inside we'll come to a solid view gives us a better idea of how far we've moved it uh, let's check back with the reference image that's about right it's about how far it needs to go in doesn't need to go very far that's probably enough okay now once we've done that we're going to select these interior faces I'm going to give those the silver color. 
material. There. And back into edit mode, vertex select. I just want to join up these vertices here. So it'll be this one and this one. And we'll go to merge at the last. Same here then. Select these two. Merge at the last, the last being the last one that was selected. Okay, now we're done with that. I'm going to select all those edges there. We'll bevel it a little bit. And again, select all those edges, mesh edges, and we'll mark it sharp. Here we'll come out of edit mode. So there we have our Small detail there on that recessed part. Uh, next thing we're going to do is these one, two, three, four, five, six um, little protrusions that stick out there. So again, we'll come to our front view, edit mode, material, so we can see through, so we can line everything up. So we've got one, two, three, four five and six so we're going to get our knife tool and make a horizontal cut select those edges drag it up knife tool again horizontal cut drag these grab these edges move it up. So we just want to align with all of these markers that we have on our reference image there. So it's actually 12 cuts we're going to need to make for the two sides of each of the six areas. It doesn't matter if they're not all exactly the same size. You could actually make these as their own separate pieces from a cube and then join them on. Um, but I'm just going to extract them from the actual body itself. Um, that method of modeling where we keep on creating new primitives and then sticking them onto the original something that we covered in the Wally -E tutorial so I want to show you a different modeling method here okay so now we've, we've done that we can actually go along and grab all of these faces and we can extrude them outwards don't need to come out too far Just a little bit. Okay. Better look at our reference image, you'll see that there then they've got these uh, indented middles. So we're going to do that in basically the same way that we did the others. Hit I. Once you hit I, it'll um, indent all those faces, create a new one for us. 
and then we just extrude inwards. Now it's just a matter of giving the colors. So the um, outside part is silver and the inside part is blue, I think. So we're going to select all those interior faces. So Shift and Alt. So we can go along and grab them all. Like so. Once we've got all of those, we get our blue material, go to assign. Now we're going to grab these edges and these top edges and faces, sorry. And we want our silver material. We'll assign that. Oops, we missed those lower ones there. Just give these the blue. Sign. Let's go into whoops. Into edit mode. So we can see the colours. And now we need to get these areas. So this and this. And the two top. Silver material. Sign. Go into object mode, and there we have those parts done as well. Now again, we may just want to bevel the edges a little bit so they have a little bit more realism to them. So back into edit mode, edge select, we're going to select those edges on the outside and inside. Once we've selected all those, Control B to bevel, enter, go back to our object mode. Now they have a slightly more realistic edge to them because they're not quite as sharp. Even though the edges are supposed to um, be sharp, you want to bevel them slightly just so they catch the light and it adds a little bit more realism. Because in real life, nothing is ever a perfect um, sharp angle like that. <coughs> so it just helps to add to the realism of the model. Okay, so we've added in those details. Let's check back over to a reference image. We've got these details in the middle part to do, but I'm going to model those in another tutorial because we need to cut out this, this shape. And also the same with this shape here and these shapes. And then those interior parts... Um, we modeled maybe as separate objects because they might be a little tricky to unwrap and texture later. So it might be easier if they're their own um, individual object for texturing purposes later on. So you can see now that actually the, the model is beginning to quite take shape with all of our panels there. Um, it's beginning to look more recognizable now as R2D2. So in the next tutorial, we're going to begin cutting out these holes and building the other details that go on the interior parts of there. And then we're going to start rotating the model around, and there's obviously work that's going to need doing around here as well, because he doesn't just have panels at the front, they go all the way around. Um, then we're going to move on to the dome, where we're going to also have to create panel lines. And after that, we can move on to the legs and the underside. So I hope that you're finding this tutorial useful and um, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you have any questions, put the comment below and also below you can find a link to download the latest project file. Um, I'm Actually, the link below, there's two project files there. One is um, R2D2 with the panel lines as it was at the start of this tutorial and the other is at the end of this tutorial. So you can... Um, if you haven't been following along with the tutorial series, you can download the first one and you can follow along with this tutorial and you'll end up with something that looks like this. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.